first here at 6 o'clock, a News on 6 exclusive. A Tulsa landmark kicked off the county fairgrounds three years ago finally finds a new home. Bell's Amusement Park will thrill again on another fairgrounds, this time in Coweta in Wagner County. News on 6 reporter Ashley Sims is live with our top story here at 6 o'clock. Ashley. Scott, the Bells is no longer a part of the Tulsa County Fairgrounds, and Wagner County officials are saying thanks. Tulsa's loss is their gain. You ain't seen the last of this. This thing is just getting started. That was the day Robbie Bell packed up his family's amusement park and said goodbye to the Tulsa County Fairgrounds. Pieces of the beloved icon gathered dust and storage for nearly 36 months. But Bell's parting words have finally come true. There's a tremendous amount of waste when the park was removed, but that's all right, because now, now we're going to bring it back. Bell's rebirth will take root in Wagner County, not Tulsa. It's kind of a coup for a small community to get something like an amusement park because it is so unique. It'll drive people to their town and to their county. Bell signed a 50-year lease to be part of a larger development, including a new fairgrounds, an expo center, and an animal shelter. The whole plan is contingent on Wagner County voters passing a quarter-cent sales tax in July. They've got to fund a lot of infrastructure, and that'll happen on July 27th. But if they pass that, then, yeah, it'll be rock and roll time again. Yeah. Speaking of rolling, Bell says the wooden roller coaster that thrilled several generations of park goers will make its triumphant return. The Zingo will run again at some point, absolutely. And he says soon the skeletons of rides like the spider will be spinning once again. It's a good lease for both parties, so all that's ready to go. We just, uh, we just hope that the citizens of Wagner want us there, and if they do, then we're going to fire it up. Robbie Bell says it'll take about 9 to 15 months to fire it up. Ashley Sims, the News on 6.